82-year-old hands that used to pick somebody else's cotton went to the polls. Hailing a personal achievement with nationwide implications, Raphael Warnock has claimed victory in one of two Georgia Senate seats up for grabs. Georgia, I am honored by the faith that you have shown in me. And I promise you this tonight. I am going to the Senate to work for all of Georgia. Warnock's Republican rival, Kelly Leffler, has yet to concede defeat. Meanwhile, the other Georgia Senate race between Republican David Perdue and his challenger John Ossoff remains perched on a knife edge. Tuesday's twin runoffs aren't just about Georgia. If both seats flip blue, the Democrats seize control of the U.S. Senate. Anything less and President-elect Joe Biden's progressive agenda will face hurdle after hurdle in an upper chamber controlled by the Republicans. But with the remaining race still extremely tight, it could be a while before results are finalized. There's a potential where some of these elections could be within a half a point, so the second place finisher will have the opportunity to potentially ask for a recount again. That again referring to the three vote recounts in Georgia that followed the November presidential election, with Joe Biden confirmed the winner each time. And I'm not happy with this. A result President Trump continues to insist was rigged as he launches a near-identical evidence-free bid to undermine Tuesday's Senate runoffs.